A controversial state economic development plan is approved today and new tonight. One lawmaker is sounding off hoping the taxpayers he represents won't be part of it. Iowa News reporter Kelly Sullivan has the new details for us live in our studio. Well, Mike, I spoke with Senator Lou Raptakis this evening. Not only does he say he's disappointed with the vote, but he plans to introduce legislation next month that would keep his three communities exempt from Roadmap RI. Thank you for the opportunity to support Some cheers. But mostly jeers from the crowd as the State Planning Council unanimously passed Roadmap RI. This is information they can use. A lot of work has gone into it, and I think it'll, they'll be well served by it. The nearly 200-page state-mandated economic development plan proposes ways to support industries that play to Rhode Island's strengths. If it was an economic development plan, it would be talking about lowering the sales tax, lowering the income tax, lowering the corporate tax on small businesses, defining how to bring jobs into the state. It does nothing at all. Senator Lou Raptakis, who represents Coventry, East Greenwich, and West Greenwich, believes this roadmap steers away the powers of elected officials in local cities and towns and directs it to state and federal levels. As soon as the General Assembly reconvenes next month, he plans to introduce legislation that would exempt his three communities from this roadmap. He says it's a one-size-fits-all plan that does not fit the communities he represents. For this to become a policy of an unelected body uh, without the final approval by the 113 members of the General Assembly who are duly elected by the, the Rhode Islanders from every corner of the state, it makes no sense. And that's my concern. Now today, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello also expressed his disappointment with the vote. According to the Associate Director of the Rhode Island Division of Planning, any policy changes in the plan would require government action, something the new governor and General Assembly would have to take up next year. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.